So, you remember last time we talked about duplexes and dualities. Well, today we're going to talk about the relation. But first, for a moment, take a look at the shaman's map that she's made as she's trying to understand the situation. You could say she's trying to understand the system of relations that have caused this trouble for their son, Ashitaka. And at the center of the situation is the iron ball that made the boar god so angry that he became enraged and became a demon, a demon that in turn cursed Ashitaka. So I think this iron ball is the key relation in this film. This is the thing that is both created in the film, but also connects everyone and everything in the film. And in the process of connecting them, transforms them. For here, here is the film as a network of relations of the iron ball. Crucially, when we talk about relation, we need to think not in terms of only a connection between, but also the relation transforms those related. So here is another ecology, another system of relations. This is what we call a media ecology, and it's the connections of all of the different projects, products that are made out of Mononoke Hime. It's not just a film. The film becomes a relation that creates all these other media products. But all of them require and are obliged to the original film in order to exist. Ecology and relations are about requirement and obligations. So which relations are necessary for something to happen? So here, the priest, the witch doctor, she's figuring out what are the obligations that Ashitaka has having incurred this curse? What are the requirements to fix it? And in some ways, the film at large asks us to consider well, what are our requirements and obligations? Say, if we're, maybe we're the inhabitants of Iron Town, what are the damages our requirements and obligations wreck? What relations of death and destruction are necessary for us to live? Ecological thinking is deeply ethically troubling. You can't, once you start thinking about how those, of those who must die for you to live, you can't stop. And the film asks us this finally, how can the people in the forest live in peace? Or more peacefully? So I want you to come away from the film and from this video, start to think about all of the different relations that you require for your survival and think about the ones that do a lot of harm, and maybe some of them you could let go.